Hi, I'm Scott Helmers, and I'm here with Vizio MVP David Parker, who's going to talk to us today about space plans and, and CAD drawings and how we can import CAD drawings into Vizio. Oh, thanks, Scott. Something I used to do for many years, I'm afraid, is to work with CAD drawings and create space usage diagrams. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start here with the, the space plan template, which is actually under the Maps and Floors category. So if I open this up, for example, I've got this space plan startup wizard. Okay. You see, there are many sources I could have for the backdrop for the space plan I'm about to do. I could have an image or a Visio drawing. In this case, I'm going to use a CAD drawing. Okay. Okay. All right. So we can see the formats that we supported are DWG and DXF, in up to version 2007 AutoCAD. So I'll do next, and I'm going to choose my CAD file that I'm going to bring in. Okay. So we've now got the CAD drawing properties shown. And on the CAD drawing properties, uh, if I was just to move this dialog away, you can see the CAD file is actually there on the page. I see, just the edge, already. see just the edge of it sticking out there on the page, okay? Yes, yes. However, I know from experience that that's not quite the right scale. Okay. What's actually happened, this wizard has tried to condense it to fit onto this page. And this page is only an A4 size page that I've got here at the moment. Okay. All right, and the scale, the page scale is one to 100. And I know from experience that A4, 1 to 100, is a fairly small building. Okay. In some cases, that might be the right thing to do. But in this case, it's not quite what I wanted to happen. So what adjustments do you need to make? Well, I happen to know, because I've spoken to the, uh, the originators of this CAD file, that they created this in meters, not in centimeters. Okay. Okay. Now, when I change the, the CAD drawing units, they, the CAD drawing file looks as though it's a lot larger than the page. Okay. It does. It does, but... Don't worry about it at this point. Okay. I want my Visio page and I want my CAD file to be the same scale because I'm going to be putting on later some Visio elements which are to scale. Okay. Okay. Good. I need to work with them. Okay. So now I've got that. The other thing that's happened in this CAD file is it's brought in the layers. And if we look at these layers, there's a variety of names. Now it is quite useful to know what those layers names mean. If you can speak to the originator of your CAD file again and which ones you want to switch off. Now I'm interested in the shell of this building, okay. not in the furniture, because later on that's going to be done in Visio. I see. So what you want to do is turn off the layers that include furniture and things that you no longer care about. That, that's right, because okay. they, they're, they change frequently, but the shell doesn't. That stays static. Right. For example, I'm going to turn off the P Mobilianoi, the new furniture that we've got here. I don't really need the curtains on there, and the Schaffer Strand, and I believe there is an older furniture up here. Okay. Now when I do OK and do Next and Finish, it looks, if I zoom out a little bit, I'm using here Control Shift and then the right mouse click to zoom out. OK. All right. You see the drawing page, which I mentioned was A4, is smaller than the CAD file that I brought in. They look like they're grossly different sizes, so how do you fix that? Well, what I do, I go to my page setup which I've done by doing a right mouse click on the page tab is a quick way of getting to it. Okay. You can get there to, from the visual aids if you wanted to. But I'm going to go and choose the page size, in my case, to be A1. Now, having done that, it actually tells me on here that that would be 84100 millimeters in width. Okay. All right. And that's the scale dimension there. All right. In fact, I probably would change my units to be meters because they're rather large when they're in millimeters. Right. Okay. So now I've got a page which you can see could fit my CAD file. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to try and click on this CAD file, but and I you, can't. Yeah, you can't access it. What, what do you need to change in order to be able to select that object? Well, the wizard was trying to protect me from myself. Okay. Now, I don't need protection. So I'm going to go to layers, and which is from the layers here, we can see that the CAD drawing layer has been locked. So you're going to unlock it. Yeah. And when I do that, I can now select it. Can you see there is that outline of the shape there? It's much, much mar larger than the drawing itself. Yeah. And now I've got a right mouse click, which gives me a menu, which gives me a CAD drawing object menu. I've got the properties and the conversion capabilities here. I'm going to go to the properties, for example. And I'm back to the dialogue that I had when I first came in. Okay. Okay. What I really need to do, though, the other option that's been added to my menu is the crop. So I'm going to crop this. 
uh, there's a lot of unused space or wasted space in the way this was imported, so you're going to get right. rid of it. It's qu quite often this happens in the CAD world because they are okay. modeling the real world, if you like, and they may have several buildings there, and this is just one part of a whole site. Great. Okay. So with the crop tool selected, I can now, as you can see, bring in the extents of the object, the CAD object, to what I need it to be, which is by selecting it and moving over here. And that's what I want it to be. And I go back to the pointer tool. So you're left with just the part of just the building that we want. Yeah. And now I'm going to do Control Shift W, which I quite do, which is page width. Yeah. And I'm going to drag this into the middle of my page. Okay. And because it looks a little bit prettier, I'm going to switch off the the page breaks at the moment. It out print to scale across multiple pages. That's the subject of another video. Okay, great. Okay. Now, if, if you're going to continue to work with this in Visio, you really don't need to do anything else at this point. What if you wanted to publish this drawing to SharePoint? Are there any special considerations? Yes, indeed there are. SharePoint doesn't support the display of the embedded CAD file, so we would choose okay. to convert it. Okay. okay. So, right. But we're staying with Visio, so let's just go ahead and finish actually, up. Actually, I'm not going to finish up just yet. I'm going okay. to give you a little boundary on, on here, and I'm going to show that the reason why I chose the space plan is that I can work out the area, the net internal area of this building quite easily. I'm just going to increase the font size of this. So we can see that is that size. Look at that, okay. And go to the pencil tool. I can just distort the vertex to cover it and you can see the size change. Instant calculation of the area of the floor. That's exactly. great. Exactly. Okay. All right. Well, that's great. Thank you, David. What you've just seen is some excellent tips for importing CAD drawings into Visio, working with them in Visio, and making them be part of a Visio drawing. Thank you, David. Thank you, Scott.